I make a ton of coffee, and you guys are always asking what gear I use. So today I thought I'd break it down for you guys and give you guys a little brew bar tour. First up, we have the most important piece of equipment, my fellow Ode Grinder. A solid burr grinder is the key to every coffee bar, and this one is an absolute beast. While it doesn't grind fine enough for espresso, it's got a very nice range, it gives me a consistent grind every single time, and it looks extremely nice on my bar. Definitely a more intermediate grinder, but one of my favorite pieces, a great build from Fellow, can't recommend it enough. Beside the fellow grinder, we have my fellow Stag EKG Plus Kettle. Personally, I think gooseneck kettles are the best for pour over coffee, so I knew I needed the fellow Stag. It allows you to set the temperature, hold it at a certain heat for one hour, and gives you great flow control. This model specifically even has Bluetooth, so you can set it by your phone, but some would kind of argue that that's just a little bit extra, but hey, this is a great kettle. Highly recommend the fellow Stag kettle. Get it, it looks dope, especially beside the fellow Ode grinder. Next up, we have one of my favorite items on my entire bar, my Chemex. I am a huge pour over drinker. It's by far my favorite way to drink black coffee, and the Chemex gives me a cup that I know I'm gonna enjoy every single time. The Chemex is actually the device that helped me take my coffee game to the next level and helped me really start to enjoy black coffee and taste the unique flavor notes in it. So I am a big fan of it and I highly recommend it. I use my Chemex almost every single day, so this is definitely a staple piece on my bar. And look how beautifully it's designed. It deserves a spot on your brew bar, trust me. Moving on, we have the focal point and the big beast of my brew bar, the Breville Barista Express. Personally, I think this is one of the most aesthetically pleasing espresso machines, and it makes for great espresso and lattes to boot. My favorite part is, of course, the built-in grinder. With my fellow Ode holding down the pour-over game, I did not want to invest in a separate grinder, so this was a major reason why I chose this machine. I also have a few accessories with it, including this dosing funnel from Crema Products that helps cut down on waste, and this 2-in-1 distributor and tamp, also from Crema Products. I highly recommend adding either option to your bar to help you up your espresso game, and for my milk pitcher, I just have the basic stock one that Breville provides, and it absolutely gets the job done for me. I love my Breville Barista Express, Definitely one of my favorite things on my bar. Love making lattes both in the morning or at night. Moving on to the final stretch, we have my miscellaneous brewers and accessories that I still want to show some love to. First up, we have my fellow XF flat bottom dripper. Unfortunately, I don't use it nearly enough. I got it originally to try out and experiment with the bottom dripper, and I do enjoy the coffee that it produces, but between the Chemex and my V60, it just does not get enough love on my bar. But behind that, we have the aforementioned V60, which is such a great brewer and one that I think that everyone should really keep on their bar. It's good for a quick single cup and it's extremely affordable. Of course, what brew bar is complete without an AeroPress? It's one of the most classic brewers. This bad boy gets the most attention during iced coffee season, so right now it is definitely a staple, but I highly recommend you have one of those on your bar. Lastly, we have my two fellow Atmos containers for storing my beans. These containers are airtight and help to keep your beans fresher for longer. They're a great accessory that I definitely recommend. They're great to have on hand. I have the espresso in the tiny one and the Honduran medium roast in the larger one. I also want to note that I did forget my French press because it's currently keeping my cold brew cold in the fridge, but I do have one of those usually on my brew bar. It's just a relatively affordable one coming in at $20. I'll have it linked down in the description down below. What's up guys? I really hope you guys enjoyed today's brew bar tour. Just wanted to show you guys all the gear that I use on a daily basis to up my coffee game and make sure I'm drinking the best coffee possible. I hope today's video can give you guys some inspiration and some ideas on gear or tools that you can add to your coffee bar to help up your game. But right now, I gotta go make me some coffee, so I will catch you guys in the next video. But if you guys really like this brew bar tour, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the coffee community. Together, we will make specialty coffee great again. Also, if you guys enjoyed any of the gear in today's video or you want to check out more information on it or get it for yourselves they'll all be listed in the description down below so go check it out nice easy link so you can add some gear to your bar these are some really good intermediate pieces of equipment that will definitely help you up your coffee game once again thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go drink some coffee i will catch you guys in the next video and remember drink better coffee